Today we're vlogging at the Google office in New York City. Let's go. nice secluded place I found the other day but I went to go look and it was already taken so now I'm on this other patio that's not as private and there is someone else on here so I'm just gonna make this really quick for breakfast I got three eggs toast I got a hella bacon because I accidentally grabbed too many I'm gonna eat this and then I'll find a better place to talk with all of you so I'll see you in a bit by the way if this is the first video you're watching of mine hey I'm John your friend in tech I'm a software engineer and content creator based in San Francisco so I'm very far from home but if you're an OG subscriber you know that I used to live in New York and I actually started this channel by vlogging my life here I enlisted most of those vlogs but I still have one video up which is my day in the life working from home as a software engineer in New York City that was like the first video of mine that kind of took off so if you want to go and watch it I'll link it up here or here wherever it is and I'll put it in the description below I thought today would be a good day to vlog because a lot has changed since my last day in the life video and I just want to give a little update on what I've been doing and what's going on so I'm still working at Google but I'm on a new team and working on a new project which is really exciting and it's also kind of why I'm here in New York City in the first place. Before I explain, let me show you what the views look like from up here. So I'm currently on the rooftop terrace of the New York City office. So that's the Freedom Tower right there and look at this amazing view. Right, you probably recognize this building, the Empire State Building. But yeah, this is my first time in the New York office in years. The last time I was here was when I was an intern in 2015 right before I converted to being a full-time software engineer. So I really love this office. It means a lot to me. And honestly, it's my favorite Google office. I just think it's like so cool. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the office later on. So stay tuned for that. And honestly, it was cool back then, but it's even cooler now. There's so many new things in this office and Google has really expanded their presence too. So there's even multiple buildings now. It's honestly so amazing. Speaking of internships, I know a lot of you are waiting for me to drop an internship video where I talk about my experiences interning at Google three times over three summers and I'm working on it. It's just taking me a while. I wanna make sure it's really helpful for all of you who wanna be Google interns or who are interns right now and wanna to convert to be full-time. So subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get notified for when that drops. It's going to be a good one, I promise. And just to give an update on what I've been working on, a lot of the work that I've been working up until this point has been all on the Android home screen. So I worked a lot on what it looks like, what it feels like. I've done a lot of animation and motion work. So one of my big projects was the animation for opening and closing an app and integrating a lot of physics into that animation. That's the kind of work that I like to do and I think it's really interesting. And if you want to learn more about what I've worked on and stuff like that, I do have an entire video about what I've worked on at Google in the past so I'll definitely link it again somewhere here but yeah I'm still going to be working on UI and animation and motion work but it's just going to be on a different team so I'm still working on the broader system UI team but my projects are just gonna look a little bit different from now on and I'm actually really excited about that so I can't say what it is right now but I definitely will keep you updated on when it's announced publicly and now that brings us to what am I even doing here in New York City so I'm actually here on a business trip and I've been here for a week so again, I can't say what the workshop is about, but I can say that we worked on some pretty cool stuff. I'm really excited about the things we built and I'm actually really inspired by all the work that we were able to accomplish this week. So I guess in a general overview of what the workshop is, it's basically a cross-functional workshop where people from different teams all come together and work on different projects. So it was really cool, really inspiring, especially after working from home in isolation. It was really nice to meet new people and even meet people that I've been working with online 
in person for the first time. There's people from California, which is where I work, and then people from London and Zurich. Some people were already here in New York City, so we all just met up together. It's a really fun business trip. Yeah, I'll show you what it's like to work in the New York office. Let's go check it out. Here's a massage room. This is one of their smaller gyms. Downstairs, there's like an even larger one, so I'll see if I can show you that in a bit. Here's another terrace of a place where people can work and hang out. It's so hot, let's go back inside. So I really like how they have all these sitting areas for people to come and work. I think that's really nice. So quick fun fact, this Google building spans an entire city block. So you can walk from 8th Avenue to 9th Avenue. So here's what they call the Central Commons and it's a common space for people to work and hang out similar to the terraces. And what's really cool is that you can go all the way up between floors and there's even fun things to do like the boards over there. So I haven't actually seen anyone riding scooters but usually they have them for people to get around the office because the office is just really that big. People need scooters to get around. So here's a bunch of Legos in this Lego MK. You can kind of see what people have built over here. Pretty cool. And then here's the micro kitchen has it's stocked with like fruits, soda, usually coffee and tea, um, a whole bunch of snacks. Honestly, there's so much more to see in the New York office. I really didn't give it justice with this really quick tour. The thing is I have to meet up with my cousin, so I really got to go right now. But so what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert some B-roll that I've been recording throughout the week. I hope you enjoy it.